jumping out the window. What you think? Oh well, I shot a nigga. Hey man, you do what you gotta Why do. Why R. Kelly, huh? What did R. Kelly do to you? He's accused of relieving himself on an underage girl on tape, which is against the law. Okay, okay, okay. But let's examine this whole peeing thing so I can pee in the toilet and it's okay. But if I pee on a person, it's like not okay. Well, yeah. Well, what if I'm peeing and Huey's in the bathroom and I accidentally pee on Huey? Should I go to jail? What the hell would I be doing in the bathroom while you're in the bathroom? Hold up, hold up. Remember when we used to sleep in the same bed when we was littler? From time to time, I'd have a little accident. You still do. Shut up. So, Mr. Dubois, Mr. I wanna lock niggas up for peeing. What's the statute of limitations on bedwetting? Why not prosecute me and R. Kelly at the same time, huh? Now, Riley, no one's going to prosecute you for bedwetting. And you shouldn't. It's a natural bodily function, and now every nigga in the world gonna be scared to pee. I may never pee again. Riley, it was a little girl. Oh, I seen that girl. She ain't little. I'm little. Yes. Gary Comb is little. Yes. Minnie Me is little. Very. And to the best of my knowledge, we all managed to avoid getting peed on so far. But what about the victim? Oh, yes. The victim. At what point does personal responsibility become a factor in this equation? I don't think that. I see piss coming, I move. Mm. She saw piss coming, she stayed. Yes, yeah, she did. And why but... should I have to miss out on the next R. Kelly album just for that? Man, you just got beat by an eight-year-old. And if R. Kelly goes to jail, I'll piss on your cat. Why do you think R. Kelly is innocent? If I started peeing on you right now, would you A, smile and ask for more, or B, move the hell out the way? But before you answer that, let me ask America, has P ever really hurt anybody? And I want to give a big shout out to my homie Diva, what's up? Hey, you with the afro, give it a rest, beat it, put the music back on. But I'm paying, which makes her a hoe. Why don't I just give her the money I was gonna spend on dinner, and that hoe can go grocery shopping? Amen. Yeah. A shame? Granddad, a nigga stepping on your sneakers is a shame. This is a catastrophe. It's catastrophic. My family didn't understand about being a street soldier. Where's the love? Where is your glass, boy? Glass? I don't need no glass. I takes mine to the head. <laughs> Niggas <laughs> coming. We need a car. We gonna have to jack someone. Where's your gun? I dropped the gun. You dropped the gun? What's done is done. Let's be solution oriented. You man. How you gonna drop the gun, Gangsta Delicious? That is not gangster. That's very not gangster. Man, I can't believe this. You a fraud. It's like going to heaven and finding God smoking crack. Oh, hell yeah, see? Gangsta Licious dropped his gun, right? And I picked it up and I was like, kaplow, kaplow! It was like some old John Woo shit! Dear Santa, you are a bitch-ass nigga. I heard the mall is hiring extra security to protect you. That's a bitch move, Santa. I'm coming for that ass again until you pay what you owe. Sincerely yours, the Santa stuck. Man, Santa D's nuts. Where was Santa when we was in the hood, huh? Santa ain't showing nigga no love back then. I didn't ask for much, just rims, not even the whole car. And what do we get? Nothing. That nigga gonna pay what he owe. Ah! I heard you work for Santa. I got a message for him. Tell him Riley said I'll be waiting for his ass next Christmas. And that nigga better pay what he owes. Merry Christmas, nigga! Please, Exhibit, pimp my ride for my grandfather. For 9-11. <laughs> for America. <laughs> Hoes love goldfish, granddad. You two need your own sitcom. All you gotta do is get on TV with a sob story and people give you free stuff. You might have to change your middle name from Jebediah to Bitches. That's all I'm trying to say. No disrespect. 
this nigga got imaginary friends. I was like, man, granddad done fucked it up for everybody. Oh, shit. Is he gonna hear me say fuck? I would just go go to Ed's house, and Huey said I couldn't go because he a hater. Get off his dick. Ow! Man, I'm just saying, Mr. Dubois writing Dr. King like a rodeo show. Ow! You don't look famous. What are you, an actor? Is you Morgan Freeman? Ow! Why can't this Morgan Freeman King dude clear the dishes? Shoot! The nigga just had a free meal. I'm sorry your peach cobbler look like vomit with pee. I don't care if you be me, granddad. I won't eat it. That is disgusting. How would you try to do? You try to kill me. I hate you. Shut up, punk. Y'all niggas are gay. Do we have any intel on that? Any what? Intel. Intelligence, nigga. Keep up. Hey, I heard she had enemies. Damn, Rummy. I'm sick of playing with y'all. Y'all two are pathetic. Y'all niggas should have been in the Special Olympics. I'm going home. Okay, okay, okay. Let me explain. Nigga, the game ain't cheating. Why you always got to cheat when you lose, eh? There he go, hating again. Okay, so just because Ed believes in his Second Amendment right to bear arms, we can't be friends? What you got against the Bill of Rights, Huey? Making the world safe for the freedoms that we enjoy today. That's messed up. You don't support the troops, you. Granddad, have you asked yourself why a 20-year-old girl would want to go out with a man your age? Because I laid my game down quite flat. Game? What you know about the game, Granddad? I know the game. Taking women out to eat, giving them free meals? What part of the game is that? I know the game. Your granddaddy knows the game. Game recognize game, Granddad. I recognize game. Your granddaddy recognize game. Game recognize game, and you looking kind of unfamiliar right now. I, I can't. Where's Granddad? Can I help you, sir? I ain't got time to mess around with y'all. I got a date. Get out the way. Don't do it, Granddad. Don't feed her. Come on now, stop. Get off Don't my lane. Don't feed her. Don't try to pull me back. Get the hell.